Hello, I'm Pat Rogerson, and I'm here to present the first ever photographic proof, actually a video of Jesus, as in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. My personal encounter with Jesus took place on a recent fall afternoon. I don't want to say exactly where, because I don't want to be held legally responsible for some wacko going out there and trying to find him and then killing him, as in him with a capital H. Anyway, I was out walking along the river, and it was a beautiful day, beautiful location. And by gosh, you just never know what you're going to see out there. I've seen eagles and, and deer and uh, nude sunbathers, all kinds of things. And I mean nude as in proudly displaying the bodies that God created. I've also seen fornicators but I won't be releasing any of those videos. Okay, so I'm out walking along the creek beds and off in the distance I see what looks like a person walking over one of the streams. I mean literally walking on water. So I grab the camcorder and I start to film and I can see that it's Jesus, arms uplifted towards heaven. Now this is Jesus as you've always imagined him, but they're in the flesh, looking as good and healthy and strong as the day before he died. So I keep filming, but as I'm getting closer, Jesus starts to walk away. So I walk a little faster, Jesus is walking faster, and bam, the next thing I know he disappears off into the woods. But before he was gone completely, he turned and faced me, looked right into the camera, gave me what they call the money shot. Amazing face, how sweet thou art. Now I realize how it is with a lot of celebrities and famous people that they're they're pretty guarded about their privacy and don't want to be bugged and such. And let's face it, Jesus Christ is a superstar. Jesus is probably the biggest celebrity of all time. Jesus is bigger even than the Beatles. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to meet him or shake his hand get an autograph or have him write something nice in my Bible. But I got the next best thing. I got photographic proof of Jesus. Now I realize that there are some people who will uh, choose to deny the evidence just as they choose to deny Jesus himself. In fact, some people have gone so far as to say that what I filmed was nothing more than a guy in a Jesus costume. But I ask you, who was Jesus? God's son, of course, but essentially a man, man in a Jesus costume, but with incredible supernatural magic powers. Now, in the sake of full disclosure, I must confess that I am a Christian and probably have been since before I was born. But that doesn't change anything because I am presenting hard physical evidence. And yes, I would be willing to take a lie detector test 
if those things worked. The camera doesn't lie. And this much I know for sure. Jesus is real. Oh my God. Early the next day, I returned to the site where I had encountered Jesus. I brought along some tracking dogs, a stack of Bibles to get signed, and my neighbor Bob, who was dying from that type of cancer that comes from breathing asbestos. Bob was hoping to meet Jesus for a miracle cure, but it wasn't in the cards. Bob's dead now, so I guess he finally met the Lord, but on the Lord's own terms. So it goes. Anyway. That day I searched far and wide for Jesus, along the banks of the river, across the creek beds, down by the streams, and back up into the woods. I never found the Lord, but I did find plenty of His footprints, which I cast with plaster. By the way, I will soon be making these available to legitimate biblical scholars and the general public, probably on eBay. Each cast will be personally signed by me on the back with a Sharpie permanent ink pen and will come with a certificate of authenticity, which I will also be signing. Now, I'm not sure how much my own signature will be worth in years to come. I'm just somebody who was doing his job and was thrust into an incredible historic moment, kind of like Neil Armstrong. So price-wise, I guess Neil Armstrong's autograph is probably a pretty good reference point for value. I'm also working with a company in China to make three-quarter scale plastic replicas for mass distribution to places like Christian bookstores and Walmart. Lastly, I'm looking into creating my own line of sandals that would have the exact same shoe print design so that everyone might walk as Jesus did. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.